What's up? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Allie. I'm Leah. If you're new here. Um, so happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So we are doing another mukbang for you guys. We know you guys love these videos. This is our first pizza type mukbang. So we got Domino's as you guys can see. I mean, maybe you can't, maybe you don't know what this is, but it's Domino's. Domino's. And we got a bunch of different things. Yeah, literally so much food here. And we can't wait to chit chat with you guys. And our friend, Jessie, um, her name is Jessie Cahill. We watched her Valentine's mukbang recently. She did a Pizza Hut one and she did a story time of um, her worst date, worst date yeah. ever. So we're gonna do it a story time. inspired us to do yeah. a story time. Um, so, and tell us like, do you guys like Valentine's Day, don't like Valentine's Day? Even if you are in a relationship, like, are, do you still like, are some people not into it? Yeah. We'd love to know. I'd love to know like yeah. what you think about Valentine's Day. But basically we, we didn't do much today. We um, did nothing actually. We got yeah. coffee. And Went the weather Walmart. has been super crappy. Yeah. Um, But we're gonna show you guys what we got. So, we got just a regular medium or yeah, medium. medium cheese pizza. That is a hand sauce, I think. Mm -hmm. And then we got a large thin crust mm -hmm. cheese and green peppers. Mm, that looks so good. Yeah. Um, and then I also got Oh, wait, this is just kidding. These are the Parmesan garlic bites. I haven't tried those yet. They're I'm really excited. good. I've had them. I'm excited. Go ahead, babe. Is this? What is this? That's cinnamon. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. We got these for dessert. The cinnamon twists. Cinnamon twists. These are so good. And then I got the boneless wings. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you can't see them. Boneless wings with um, buffalo on the side. So, <clears throat> and to drink, I have a nice oh. Smirnoff ice. These have been in the fridge. I have Seagram's for a while. Bahama Mama. These have been in the fridge for, I don't know, I couldn't tell you how long. But it's So, fine. let me know. Do, I don't if you're think they're I don't think alcohol goes bad. You've been iced. <laughs> okay. So let's get started. I'm so <clears throat> hungry. All I had today was some queso dip, leftover queso dip from Tequila Mockingbird um, that I got last night. Oh, yesterday was Callie's birthday. So I'm going to post like a little montage video for her birthday. Her birthday was February 13th. Wish her a happy birthday. She just turned six. Like where? Where did the time go? I don't even know. But um, like the music that I wanted to add wasn't working. So I wanted to get the video up before this one, but this one is actually going to go up before because I have to figure it out tomorrow what is going on with the song that I wanted to add. So you guys will probably get that video on the 15th or tomorrow. Oh, wait, tomorrow is, is tomorrow. the 15th. So I'm going to start with um, these boneless wings. Mm. I'm going to start with this pizza. Uh, so how have you guys Actually, been? I want to try those... Um, Hot buffalo. Can you hand me like oh, no. those garlic parmesan? Mm. Why don't they have mild buffalo? Can I dip my pizza in that sauce? Yeah, go ahead. Mm. Is it good? Is it hot? That shit is fire. I'm good. I'm just while we're not monetizing it. I told mm. y'all. I haven't tried these. Mm. I'm just going to maybe drizzle a little bit. Wait. I'm going to put this back there and then put this right here. So do you want to go first for the story time? It doesn't matter. Her goes first. Here, you can have this. Ooh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so... We're gonna be sharing stories. Apparently, Alyssa has so many. No, yeah. on like bad dates. That apparently says more about me than them. Why would I have so many bad dates? Um, I don't. That's not what she said the other day after Jesse's video. She was like, "Oh, I have so many stories I could tell." I was like, "Wow, I didn't know you dated that many people." But okay. 
Guys. These are so good. I'm sorry. Mm, I'm so hungry. She interrupts me literally all the time. Watch her videos, go back and count how many times she interrupts me saying something. The inside is so good. There she go again. <laughs> so anyway, this is not like just a PSA. This is not dates we've had with each other. That's mm -hmm. not going to be the bad dates we're talking about. That Unfortunately. Was a, I'm sure she has joke. a lot of bad dates about us. So she no, I don't about. think we've had any bad dates. Do you? No, but I was just thinking about to kill a mockingbird. Which time? <laughs> what do you mean, which time? Well, that wasn't a bad date. The mm. after part okay. of it. Okay, anyway, right. it doesn't matter. So, I want to take a bite of this first before I start. Show them the things. nug. Mm. Mm. I'm just starving mm. Marvin over here. Mm. Her hands me that box of pizzas. That is spicy. Okay. Oh. Sorry. So, my story takes place in what? Gosh, it is fire. My story takes place, I think. I think. I don't remember what year it was. 2018. I think it was 2000, January of 2018. Yes. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So, this is like a couple months before my 20th birthday. So, I was 19 years old. And I'm talking to this girl just to give a little backstory of like what's happening. I've been talking to this girl for like maybe a week. And she's like, do you want to come to this show with me like this rave and i was like okay whatever sounds cool like it's edm concert in baltimore maryland and i'm like all right cool whatever she's like i'll buy your tickets i'll pay for the gas like food whatever like you don't pay for anything like just come with me and i'm like okay sounds like a good time like only known this girl for maybe a week like <laughs> whatever i think we met on like on her which is like a lesbian tinder um because she all lesbians out there didn't know well, I don't know if some people, some people may have not, may not know what that is. Like, just um, because you're a hoe and have every platform doesn't mean everybody else knows what it is. I do not have every platform of dating. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll just skip over that because she definitely had her, too. I had her and Tinder and that's it. There's a lot more than that out there, though. Anyway, so we end up going to this show. We go up there. It's fine. Like, the ride-up is fine. Like, it's chill. Um... So, like, I have been a pretty good, like, kid. I'm almost 23 now. I'll be 23 in April. So, when I was, like, almost 20, the only thing I've done is, like, smoke weed and drink a little bit. Like, you know, smoke cigarettes. I was, I was never into hard drugs. I never have done any hard drugs. Um, and we, like, would smoke together like we did on the way there and everything we got to baltimore we went to like panda express i think to eat i had never been there i mean it was it was okay we go to the show at like nine o'clock at night i think and she's like hold up i gotta hide some stuff in my bag and i'm like okay like, like whatever so she had like she had something i don't know what it was i think it was called like k k2 don't know what it is i'm not familiar with it but apparently you're not supposed to mix it with alcohol and I have to say this because this is what where the story goes. So we're chilling, like she's talking to other people, like while we're there, like her friends that are there, and I'm just like standing there listening to music. Like I'm not 21, so I can't drink. Like I think I had like a water, um, but I couldn't even like. You had wristbands if you were under 21. Your face, you look so like uninterested and annoyed. Oh, I'm not. I'm just showing my face. Um, it, it's just my face. Here's my face. Just gonna push it. Anyway. So I was holding her drink for a minute and like this guard, the security guard came over and was like, you can't hold like you can drink blah blah blah. And I was like, I'm just holding it, like whatever. It was like it that it was intense. Um, it's probably like fast Are you forward a little bit. You for holding it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, fast forward a little bit, probably to like after midnight, probably one o'clock in the morning. And this girl, like, we were standing with her other friend, and she pulled something out of her pants. Like it was like a bag of drugs. Okay and there's like these guys around and like these girls and this guy like takes his drug like off of like 
the top of her hand like sniffs it and she tells me that it's like k2 or whatever she'd been drinking like tequila something like that and she like she does it too she then sniffs like the rest off of her hand are you good yeah and then she's like doing this and she's like this is such a great time blah 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 and then i'm like okay like this isn't my thing like this is my scene uh, like it was something new and exciting uh, for me so i went and then she's like i don't feel good can i lean on you for a minute and like as soon as she leans on me she pukes all over the front of me like just completely empties the contents of her stomach all down the front of me so naturally i took my shirt off and i had was like had my bra on i was like we need to go like we need to leave i get her to leave after a couple minutes like i convince her that like it's time to go two o'clock in the morning i'm walking down the streets of freaking downtown baltimore in a bra skinny jeans she is projectile vomiting down the sidewalk and then we walk past the cop and he's like is your friend going and i'm like yeah we she had too much to drink like we need to go no idea where i am we're apparently like not sh long from the hotel room we somehow get back to the hotel don't even i don't remember how we found our way back but we found our way back to the hotel what i didn't think i got close from the group pepper i'm sorry keep going i'm listening babe. we get back to the hotel and this guy shows up. I have no idea who he is. Um, he looks like a homeless dude. Don't know him. He has this big speaker. And she, when we were there, she tried to put, like, a tab of acid on my tongue. But, like, I didn't take it. And, like, I'm just, it's not my thing. Like, I think she put it in my mouth. Like, I wiped my tongue, like, right after. Like, I just wasn't, it wasn't my thing. So, we get back to the hotel room. I'm sitting on the floor or something in a chair I don't know I don't really remember her and this guy are in the bathroom for like 30 minutes like with the shower on I don't know what's going on and like I was supposed to be her date so it was weird and then we he has like this music playing and I feel like I'm in the middle of like a rainforest or something like like that's <laughs> what was playing um and then we end up like he stays there in the hotel room with us i'm on like one side of the bed she's in the middle and he's on the other side and i'm pretty sure they like hooked up in the middle of the night well like middle of the morning and i had to work the next day and like it's like nine o'clock the next morning and she's like not waking up and i'm like oh my god i have to be to work in like three hours so yeah um i would have to say that would be wait did you talk to her after that i didn't didn't really like i think i maybe had like one or two conversations with her after that and then a couple months later in the summertime she hit me up and was like i miss you like you made me want to be like a good person and you made me want to not mess around with other people blah blah and i was like mm, nah like i just kind of blew it off but did you get to work yeah i ended up getting to work i think i was like 10 minutes late mm -hmm. um but it was not not a fun time that would probably be the worst date um i've been on getting puked on and i don't really talk about the story much because it's just like disgusting it's probably the most disgusting thing that's ever happened to me too but yeah i've never talked this much in a video you know unless it's not my diabetes i'm just teasing um so yeah that was not the best time don't do drugs kids stay in school excuse me excuse me oh my god so <clears throat> My story's a little less entertaining, I feel like. Pick one. I'm picking the one that you already know about. Mm. So, clearly we're not using names. But, mm -hmm. I feel like if these people watched, they would know who they were. You know? Especially yours. Yours is like something that stands out. Mine could possibly, she maybe is. she wouldn't know, but I feel like she definitely would. So, I think this was in 2018, too. I don't know. I was 25, so... Yeah, I think this was, like, back, like, in late 2018. Um, I was talking to this girl, and I hadn't been talking to her long. Like, I couldn't even tell you how long I was talking to her. Probably, like, a week or two weeks. It really wasn't a long time. Um, but we had hung out a couple times, and we, um, were gonna go to this bar that I had never been to before. It was in Salisbury. And 
Salisbury University is in Salisbury, as some of you guys may know. And it's basically like a college town. And I didn't know that this bar was like in a college town area. Like I just, I didn't know that because I had never like gone to Salisbury to hang out really, or like gone to bars that way. Like I just, it wasn't something that I did. And um, so she wanted to go to this bar. Meanwhile, you, <laughs> meanwhile, we're um picking up like her, a couple of her friends too, which was fine, like whatever. Um, and it wasn't, it is a girl, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> she, Fun fact about this girl, I also talked to the same girl at the, around the same time. Mm -hmm. People that we've talked to in our past, we've talked to them. We've talked to the, the same, same exact people, people at the same time. At the same time. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wild? Anyway, maybe it's all has led us to each other. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> so we get to this bar. And in 2018, I'm 25 years old, okay? So we get to this bar and I very quickly realize that it's a very young crowd like freshly 21 22 year olds are all college kids like it looked like a big frat party in this bar um and it's basically there's not even seating really anywhere it's basically open floor so um and there's like just a dj and everybody is standing basically the whole time there's like couches um kind of i don't know i don't even really remember but i go there with her and she's basically like hanging around with friend the whole time and mind you this isn't the first time i hung out with this girl this wasn't like a weird first date like i had been talking to her for like a week or two weeks at least like so it was just i could not that i could understand if it was a first date because i feel like that's just rude regardless but like i feel like especially if you've been talking to the person why like be rude and just like disregard the person that you're with like it just doesn't make sense to me um and like that kind of bothered me but then it got worse there was this other girl so me and the girl that I was talking to had very similar styles like we not that we looked alike but like both like in the like tomboyish way and I don't agree I definitely agree because when we were at this place what do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm like a tomboy or like a girly girl? Because I'm definitely I'm not, not a girly girl. I'm not saying you're a girly girl and you're not a tomboy. I'm saying from what I've seen of her and what I see of you, I don't think your styles are similar. What I'm saying is you would have had to been in the situation what I'm saying. Not saying we dress down to the T exactly the same, but we have a lot of similarities in the way that we act, the way that we like just, Maybe you just have to be like around that. her like to know like what I'm talking about. But the girl that so she so there was this girl there who ended up being all over her and this girl was a very girly girl like super girly she looked straight like you wouldn't even think that she was into girls honestly and she looked like she was trying to hook up with a guy basically is how she was dressed and everything and she was all over the girl that I was there with and she was just letting her be all over her and I said something to her friend I was like what the fuck is she doing like this is so disrespectful I don't know anybody here I, I like I went in her car like I didn't even have my car there like literally I didn't know anybody there um I rode with her like it was just a super uncomfortable and awkward situation and um she was literally dancing with this girl the entire time and I was sitting there and I ended up talking to a stranger too like this dude that was just sitting there I was mm -hmm. like and he was like what are you doing like why are you just I'm like and I explained to him the whole situation I'm like tell me how this isn't fucked up and he's like no this is super fucked up and he's like you should go say something to that other girl I'm like no like that's not my place like she if she was into me and wanted to even date me in the slightest I feel like out of respect for me, first of all, you want to do that in the first place. And second of all, you would have told her that you're there with somebody else. Like, I just felt like it was so rude. And, like, she literally danced with her the entire time. And I didn't talk the entire ride back to my <clears> car. <throat> so, like, my car was in Salisbury, but it was somewhere else. Like, I had met her somewhere, and then we went in her car. And um, I didn't talk the entire, the entire ride. And... Honestly, I didn't even want to get in a car with her, but I felt like I didn't really have another choice. Like, I guess I could have Ubered, but, like, I just didn't. In that type of situation, like, when you feel so uncomfortable, like, you kind of, like, stall. Like, you don't really... I didn't know where I was. I didn't know anybody. Like, I don't know. I just felt super awkward. And, um, 
I didn't talk to her after that. Like, that was the last time I hung out with her. That was the last time I had talked to her. Like, Minus the one time when, since we've been together, that she slid up on her Snapchat story and asked her what song she was singing while she was playing her little guitar. Oh, because I was curious, mm -hmm. but... I don't even know why I'm friends with her on Snapchat, to be honest. But she definitely knows who she is. She, if she's watching this, she definitely knows who she is. No doubt about it. But that's that story. So what you do you guys think? You sound real uptight about it. You sound real about her. No I'm way. not. Like, I just think, like... I just think... When you're with somebody, even if you're not in a relationship with them and there's no label on it, you, you don't have, have respect else. for the other person. While they're there. Moral of both stories. Yeah, like, have respect. Like, what the hell? I'm getting full. Really? I'm not. So comment down below if you're still watching. Mm -mm. Your worst date. I want one of those. Oh, shit. I forgot about those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was your worst date? We'd love to know. And did you guys have a good Valentine's Day? I'd love to know that before. What'd you guys do? Her like for a second. Sorry. No, wait, I can't do it. Oh my god. It's very crowded back here. Yeah, I'm sweating. I'm a so big girl. Bad. Me too. Mm. Mm, look at that. Mm, mm -hmm. You just dripped it on my box. Mm. So rude. Sorry. She gets mad about everything. Nobody said I was mad. All I said was you dripped it on my box. It's the way her said it. How did I say it? Y'all reply and tell me how I said it. Anyway. Yeah, I really can't think of any other kind of, like, date I've been on that would be bad. Mm. Me either. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like 20 degrees outside and we have our bedroom window open and it is hot in here. It's like hot. I'm like sweating. Is that good? <clears throat> mm -hmm. You ready to end the video? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so those are our stories. Mm -hmm. We hope you liked it. Yep. If you are watching and you know who you are, like if you're the person we're talking about, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, she's not. <laughs> she's not sorry. This is in the past. I'm not sorry. The hell. We can all laugh about it now. Yeah. But learn to have respect I for mean, the future people that you're with. Just a little, you know. Word not advice. laughing about Alyssa's like date, like dating on other people. That's not funny. But like laughing about me getting pooped on, like that's kind of funny. No. I mean, I think it's also a funny thing. I mean, not that it's, like, funny, but, like, I don't care about it looking back on it. But I hope that they just have respect for future people that come into their life. Probably not. She was an asshole. Yeah, she talked to her, too, so. Yeah. I never met her in person. I never, like, won the opportunity or explored her because I didn't like the vibe I got from her. And the way that she, like, had conversation with me. I just felt like she was an asshole and I knew that that would not work with me because... I have a mouth and I don't care. I mean, it would never would work. It works with us, but that's it. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. I just want to tell me how for you guys today. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed us stuffing our faces. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you guys what? in our... What? I don't know what should we do. What should we should do. We should start rating our food again. Oh, okay. So overall, I'm going to give this... An 8 out of 10. Okay. How are your... Was your chicken good? Mm. Mm. Too much breading, not enough chicken. You know? I can't relate. <laughs> these with the buffalo sauce, the these parmesan, whatever. The parmesan garlic bites? That's mm. what those are. Highly recommend you should try those. With buffalo sauce. The Domino's buffalo sauce. Honestly... 10 out of 10. The green apple one. The green apple smirnoff is my favorite. Not me. These two guys are the worst. They're the worst. Sorry if you're watching. <laughs> Ashley's my stepmom. 
What do you rate the food? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 because I was hungry. You know? All right. That's all we have for you guys today. We hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Yeah, Bye. hopefully we vlog this week. Bye.